you a dollar, you. I do better with nobody around. CEO build my shit from the ground, the king of the mound. I'ma take him down through there. Let him see how I really get down. I do better with nobody around. CEO build my shit from the ground, the king of the mound. I'ma take him down through there. Cottonwood where it started for me. First fight at the end in the street on God. I was six years old, no CAP. Hey, mama stood right there. Said he gon' be letting her the hood right there. Go mix with a bull right there. Tow truck, that nigga got pulled right there. Hey, yeah, I'ma take him down through there. Look, man, my role models all of them dead. Got me fucked up all in the head. Go to sleep with the blick laying out in the bed. Yeah, I'ma take him down through there. Finna read, no trust, no hope. Heart been stepped on and broke, but I bet you that shit. Okay, you guys, welcome to the Scent Set It podcast show. Hit the like button on this video, okay? This is going to be a brief video, you guys, because I just had to do it. I just had to do it. But before I get started, you guys, this site is for education and entertainment purposes. Therefore, everything that I say after this, you guys, is allegedly. But I'm dropping the link, of course, um, as to the topic at hand, um, as you all see, okay? The, what the topic is. So <laughs> I don't want to jump right into it, but I got to send my shout outs. And I want to thank uh, my subs for coming in, my new subs and my old subs. Thank you all. I appreciate each and every last one of you all. I want to say thank you for that. I also want to thank um, my moderators and um, everybody want to know when I'm going live. I don't, hey, I'm going live. Trust me, I'm working on some stuff, you guys. Um, so I will be going live. Um, also, um, I have some other uh, information that on um, the Treasure Hendrix case that I'm going to be speaking on also on another video coming up. So stay tuned with that. Um, so yeah, this video, you guys, let me tell you all the getaway experience, um, that me and my family had over the weekend, we went to San Antonio, Texas, took a road trip. So I drove my car. Okay. So we get to the hotel and I'm going to say the name of the hotel because people need to be aware. And of course, when I created this channel, I told you guys that I was going to keep you all aware of what is going on. And that's exactly what I plan to do. Okay. So I'm not going to, um, nobody's exempt. Put it like that. Okay. So <laughs> hotels are not exempt. Valet park. They have a third party valet that they use. I'm just not finding all this out afterwards, or I would have never, you know, used them or whatever, but they valeted. Um, this was the first day we arrived. So I had a uh, nine millimeter in the glove compartment locked up. Okay. And the nine millimeter clip with the hollow points in the clip was in the console in the middle part of the car. Okay. Um, so I'm not thinking that uh, nobody would be going. Hold on. I'm sorry. I right, the volume. Uh, accidentally muted. I wasn't planning on, you know, nobody going out through my car and shit, right? So I'm not thinking. I just go ahead, let them valet the park, whatever. Okay. I did not go back to my car that, you know, day or night or whatever, because I didn't have to, because the river walk was literally, we were on the river walk where we were staying. So we just walked down to the river walk that night, had a good time and all that. I go back to the hotel, go to bed, not thinking anything of it. The next day, I the next morning rather, I needed to get something out of my car. So the way they had it set up, and this was, and I'm going to name the name of the valet parking, third party parking as well because they need to be exposed definitely need, need to be exposed which is town park uh valet that's the name of the 
company that Canopy Hotel, which is in uh, San Antonio, Texas, Canopy Hotel, uh, they use a property management. And then see, this is coming back to the same way a lot of them. I see this all the time, you guys, with the property management. There, There's a lot of poor property management that are out here managing people's property so poor. And if you don't speak up and say anything about it, see the owners of these properties, they have no idea. This is the, you know, the type of treatment that the customers are getting dealing with these third party and these property management companies. Okay. If you don't have a property management company that thrives on customer service and being on customer service, then you you have the wrong property management company managing your property because customer service, I'm big on customer service. And if you do something that leaves a bad taste in my mouth the first time, then you won't get my money after that anymore, in any more of my business. Okay. I say that to say this. Okay. I'm going to say allegedly, but it's not alleged. Okay. Cause I'm, I'm about to show you guys something. And this apparently goes on a lot in the, and I'm not just going to say San Antonio, but then again, oh, it goes on quite often in San Antonio, Texas, around that Riverwalk downtown hotel, those hotels that use these third party valet uh, people, because these are the things that have to, we have to be mindful of and consider when we are parking our cars. OK, this is why I want you guys to know, don't park, don't do not valet park your cars at the Canopy Hotel in San Antonio or St. Anthony Hotel. And I'm going to tell you why not St. Anthony, even though I didn't even stay there, but after doing careful research, because I was looking for the, uh, all the other complaints from these valet parking so that I could give you all uh, a more idea on what really goes on in San Antonio at these uh, hotels when these valet parking companies are getting our vehicles. So I'm going to share my screen because I'm going to show you all something. OK. Because I, I, one thing I don't I can't stand a thief, a thief. I just can't. I, I, I can deal with a lot of stuff, but a thief, I can't. Hold on. So this is the St. Anthony Hotel Valet caught on tape stealing a gun from the car. OK, this was just you guys in December, only four months ago of last year, just four months ago. And here his thieving ass is. Yeah, and I'm gonna I'm gonna let that sit right there so that you all can see. Okay, avoid the if you see this person at a valet anywhere, avoid them. I'm not saying that he was uh, working at the canopy that took mine, but I'm, I'm researching that and trying to find out. Okay, maybe a real somebody. Okay, I have names, so I'm getting to the bottom of who took my nine millimeter clip out of my console. Okay, so here we are, four months ago. This this driver. Okay, so let, let me read this to you all. I want to keep this picture right there while I read, okay? San Antonio, a driver from a downtown hotel was arrested after police say he stole items from cars he was parking, okay? Raymond D. Callahan, 33, was arrested after police say he stole a gun from a car. Callahan, a valet driver at uh, the St. Anthony Hotel in downtown San Antonio, was reported by his supervisors to police after they suspected him of stealing from cars he was parking at the hotel. OK, according to an affidavit, his supervisor told police that four different hotel guests reported they had items stolen from their vehicles, which were parked by a valet. Police were given a video footage which showed Callahan getting into one of the guests BMW and driving into a uh, sight of the next camera. That camera showed Callahan removing a black colored firearm from the car while sitting in the driver's seat, then driving around to his own car and putting it in his car. He then walks back to the valet uh, area in front of the hotel 
The owner of the BMW called police confirming the gun had been stolen and gave them the serial number of the 9mm Smith & Wesson firearm that was stolen when his car was parked by the valet at the hotel. Okay, Callahan was charged with theft of a firearm, which is a felony. Now, I'm going to stop sharing my screen right there. Hold on. Hold on. And the reason why, before I stop sharing my screen, the reason why that popped up is because this white lodging is who manages Canopy, uh, the hotel. They're, they're the property management for Canopy. So this is why this is up because, see, I've been doing some thorough research on their asses, okay? Because that's what I do. Uh, now let me stop sharing my screen so I can discuss. So luckily for me, I had the firearm was locked up inside that glove compartment. So therefore they would have had to take, uh, remove the, the key from the key fob and then unlock the glove box. So I guess they knew that would be a bit too much. They would be too obvious of them stealing. Uh, but at the same time, what I'm trying to do is uh, get the camera footage from at the from the time that my car went into that garage and every time it came out. I want footage from all around that area because I also found out when I was asking questions to one of the valley drivers. I asked, uh, so where are you all parking the cars? You know, and he told me like it was across the street at this parking garage but here's the kicker you guys so it wasn't a thing where they could just easily just come out of the garage just come across the street and bring your car no oh no 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 no. he explained to me well the way the garage is so okay so the way the garage set up you got to go all the way around bust another block come back around again up because it's supposed it's a one way these are one way so you know it's taking up 15 to 20 minutes to even bring your car. And so the way they had it set up, you have this ticket number and you text the ticket number when you are requesting your vehicle, you text it to the number and request your vehicle, put your ticket number in there and they bring your vehicle around. Well, it was taking them 15 to 20 minutes, sometimes even longer to bring your vehicle, which was giving them plenty enough time to duck off in some of these side streets, which is why I need cameras to, when my car came out of the garage each time and where I need cameras everywhere around there. Okay. Because in the midst of that, the same thing that this other person did when they stole the gun out of the BMW is the same thing. So this is what they do down there and this is how they're doing it. So they're getting away from the cameras in the garage, allegedly, but they're pulling the vehicles out. So down these other side streets, so they don't think that cameras are able to see them. But I know they don't think that because downtown, there are cameras everywhere. And I'm going to find out. And when I do, oh, when I do, baby, I'm, I'm, I'm going to... Uh, <laughs> have to make an example out of this driver, okay, and show him my car, and, and I'm pretty sure everybody feels the same way, but don't play, don't steal nothing up out of my car. Don't steal nothing from me, period. Do not go through my personal belongings looking, probing, digging, searching for something to steal, because I will hunt you down, okay, like a dog, uh, roguish, den of thieves that you are. Okay. And there will be consequences. I promise there will be consequences. Okay. So you be mindful, you guys, when you are parking your car and you, and, and I, you know, and it's a shame because like me and my homegirl, we was talking and I was telling her, she was like, you know, it's sad because she said, I normally, I take my stuff out when I valet park at the, she's go to the casinos. I said, well, see the thing about me, when I go to the casinos, I don't valet park my car. I park, I self park. And I don't like this. Why I don't like to valet park because I, I had a previous bad experience at the Hilton here in Dallas with valet park and stole something out of my vehicle. So this is the second time that I've had an experience. And this is why I don't like to valet park at these hotels. They use these third party people, you know, where, where the property management of the hotel is hiring these low budget uh, thugs and uh, dinner thieves off the streets. Okay, 
And yeah, I said it because I'm pissed off at the fact that my I feel like my personal space was violated. And I'm pretty sure just like that man felt that when his uh, gun was taken out of out of his car stolen, he was violated. See, people don't understand when they do stuff like that, how you, you know, there are consequences to these actions. You don't think you're going to get away with it. You may have gotten away with it, you know, other times, but then there's going to be a time where you're going to run across the right person that's going to, you know, not let it slide. You know, you won't get a pass with me. I'm not that type. You're going to get a pass from not stealing from me. Okay. So, I needed to do this video to expose this hotel, okay? Because this is all part of corruption. All this corruption, I have other corruption that I got to do videos still on even the cemeteries. I'm not done with them either, okay? Because I'm sick and tired of the fact that there are, we are spending our money and lots of money. This is These hotels, these five-star hotels, they're not cheap. This, these valet park, it's not cheap. $55 a day, it's not cheap. It's not cheap. $55 a day to valet park. And you can't even park uh, my car without taking items out of it. No, I think not. Okay. So, again, I needed to discuss that. Because I have been doing a lot of research. As a matter of fact, that's all I've been doing since I got back and this has taken place with regarding my the clip from the nine millimeter. OK. Now, there was other items that was taken as well. A unique lighter that was in my glove compartment it is unique. Um, I can't really describe it because it's so unique. But and it was what it was attached to um, that kind of made it unique. And I kind of I, I know why they took that, because apparently they, they must be over there smoking that good ass gas, too. And see, that's another thing. They hire these young ass uh, little thugs. OK, yeah, I said it. OK. This is what they're doing. So they over there want to want to want to get up. The who you can't even buy your own lighter to smoke on your good gas. You have to take mine and my clip. Okay. Well, it's not over. It's not over by a long shot. And I just needed to let you guys know that be mindful again. Be mindful. Okay. Be mindful. You guys hit the like button and let me know in the comments. I want you all to, to drop in the comments. And here's the question of this video. I want to know, have you all ever had a bad experience with valet parking? And if so, drop it in the comments. Let me know. I want to hear from you all. Have you all had a bad experience with valet parking at whether it be hotel, casinos, wherever there is valet parking? Have you had a bad experience? Because no one wants to, you know, go out to their vehicle or, you know, and, and, and items are missing. I even saw where in San Antonio, also a couple of years back, where um, a vehicle, the whole vehicle was stolen. Somebody like walked up to the podium and took the keys and, and, and stole it. And then, speaking of keys, this is also another red flag, and it made me suspicious. And I kind of, I know how uh, one of the drivers look that was driving my car. Because what I'm trying to do also is get the drivers that were in my vehicle that took my car to the garage and brought it each time. It was only twice. So, um, it may have been three times. No, it was three times because, um, yeah, I do have it wrote down. So it was three times that there were someone that took my vehicle and brought it back. Now, this is what raised the red flag. What I was about to say that made me suspicious of, and, and I know his face when I see him. Um, when I got ready to check out and they were putting my bags in the trunk and I said, where's my key? And one of the drivers turns to the 
youngster that had my key and he had it clipped on his uh pants like uh personal it was looking real personal to me and it raised a red flag but then i looked at everybody else and i said well does anybody else have the same clips on them i saw the other drivers did have these like clips where they i guess like click the keys on them so they have it when they're bringing the car around or whatever but that just looked like it had been on there if that makes sense because when he asked him he was like oh you getting ready to check out and i'm like yeah fucking get my key you know it was like that you guys i can't even explain it you guys it was like he it was it was long, almost like he had been holding on to them keys for a minute and he knew exactly like I, I, I'm telling y'all, I definitely remember him. I know exactly how his face looked. And he's one one of the drivers that I, I'm most definitely looking at that I want them to pull some footage of him um, taking uh, going to get my car from the garage. I need the footage from the garage where my car was in the garage all the way out the garage until they made it to the hotel. There were a lot of other red flags I saw when me and my mom got in my car that, uh, which was, let's see, Sunday. Sunday, we went to uh, the Airbnb where my son just got his Airbnb and he had uh, just furnished it. And so we were going over there to check it out. Well, when I got in the vehicle, I told my mom right off the muscle. I said, Mama, it feel like they've been driving, they've been really driving my car. Plus, my I said my gas hand, it's a lot of my gas gone. For them to go across the street, my gas hand shouldn't be looking like this. So my mom immediately told me, Well, you might what you need to do is write the mileage down on your car so you'll know, you know. They're going across the street, even if they got to make that block or whatever they say they got to make to get across there, there should not be no no miles, okay? So, but it that wasn't the case. There were definitely miles driven off my car and gas gone out of my car. So they did some joy riding too while they stealing my shit up out of there. And I'm going to say allegedly, but it's not. These are alleged facts because I got proof and the proof is in the pudding, okay? I got proof that I'm presenting on this claim. I have a claim form that was given to me to fill out because not only that, there was a scratch on my car. Okay. That's a, it's, it was a lot going on with the valet people. Okay. And they forced my uh, initial. Okay. Uh, so yeah, do not, and I repeat, do not, Use the valet parking at the Canopy Hotel in San Antonio River Walk. So I'm, I'm just telling you all, I, I raise awareness on my channel. This is what I do. And when things, and if I have my own bad experience with this type of stuff, I'm going to let y'all know. Don't go there. I'm telling you. If you go and you want to go there, because I'm, I, I will say this. I'm not going to even, I'm not going to take the, the experience away from us. We had a, a great time there. Even the hotel itself was nice as far as um, with them serving the rosé. So they had the complimentary rosé where you can get as many rosés as you want. But here's the kicker, though, to the hotel, though. there's They're building another hotel behind it. So there's construction. So the noise will wake you up. Okay, so that's what happened yesterday morning before we got ready to check out. Um, they were working on the building and the noise. It was just, it was all the banging and for me. And I also looked at some reviews from the hotel where I saw the same exact complaint from other people complaining about the construction behind the hotel and how loud it was. So these are the things you got to be mindful and careful of when you're booking your hotel stays in San Antonio. Don't go to the Canopy Hotel and Valet Park. 
because your items are substance to be stolen, as mine were. And your car substance to be put on a whole, uh, go on a whole joy ride and come back with a uh, scratch on it. You know what I'm talking about? Had me over there looking like uh, Jim Carrey on Liar Liar. You scratch my car. <laughs> Where? Right there. Look at that. <laughs> I'm talking about y'all. Man, this, when I say I was on the phone with them, you all, like from the valet people to the hotel, when I got home yesterday for hours, literally hours, more than two, I know, back and forth from them and talking with management and all this type of stuff to have to find out that, you know, they're a third party vendor and all this. So when I got the name, of the third party vendor, that's when I discovered that um, they were hired by the property management company who the hotel um, has over their property. So I'm going to blame the hotel for, I'm going to put it, a lack of the research on the property management before they got into this this contract with them to to oversee their property because it's very it was poor and they lack customer service which is a problem it's a whole problem for me and that goes the same way with the residential because I see that a lot because I'm in the real estate business I see it a lot with the property management on the rental property as well because a lot of these owners, these homeowners, they'll get these property management companies and they don't know what type of property management company that they're using to manage their property. And then you have the tenants lacking because the property management company, they can't even go out to the property and fix nothing when they need stuff fixed. Tenants complaining about the property management sucks. Bad reviews. I see so many bad reviews on that. But I wasn't aware that the hotels use these commercial property management companies as often until I had this experience. So once I had this experience over the weekend, that's when I did a lot of research on these hotels and saw where this is common for the hotels to use these property management companies, you know? So be mindful of that. When you are booking these hotels, find out are they using their in-house valet parking? Because you do have some hotels that still do use their own in-house. Those are the ones you want to go with. You want to go with the hotels that takes the time out to say, you know what? We value our own customers so that we want to handle our customers with care of ourselves. We don't want to put our customers' vehicles in the hands of a third party when we have such an, uh, an exquisite hotel and in 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 a, a relationship with our customers. We just don't want to do that. Those are the hotels that you want to look for to book. If you book in a hotel and you find that they're using a third party valet, then that goes to show you how much they care about their customers. I wouldn't book there because this is it is an experience for me and it's teaching me a lesson also when I'm booking these hotels, what to look for. Okay. So I wanted to share that. I wanted to share that also with you all. Okay. Because at the end of the day, if we don't, you know, put a stop to stuff like this and start, uh, you know, letting it be known, you know, that this is unacceptable. We're not going to tolerate it as customers. We're not going to tolerate it. And there are consequences behind these, these types of action. These hotels need to be held accountable. And maybe they'll start looking at, you know, and be more aware of who they are putting in, in their property management position, to, you know, to, to manage their property. Okay. 
So yeah, um, I, I've said that because again, to say this, just be careful out there, you guys, on and, and pay attention, and also pay attention to all your items. Start taking pictures because I now looking back, I wish I had even taken pictures of everything that was in my console before I got out. So now I know what to do when I, if I ever valet park again anywhere, which now, like I said, I probably won't <laughs> valet park anymore. Um, so yes, you guys, I'm going to end this video on that note. And again, hit that like button on the way out and subscribe to the channel if you have not the Sense Said It podcast show. And I want to thank you all again for subscribing if you have not. And thank you for downloading the Spreaker app. Okay. And shout out to everyone that um, is following me on all major platforms. Okay. And until next time, you guys, I will see you all on the next video or on um, the next live. You all have a great rest of the week and peace and love.